Hello everyone, welcome you all. So in this video, uh, I'm going to explain about uh, requirement traceability matrix, uh, is also called as RTM. So what is the requirement traceability matrix? So requirement traceability matrix or RTM captures all the requirements proposed by the client. Basically it contains uh, all the requirements which are given by the client. So in other words, it is a document that maps and traces user requirement with our test cases. So basically it is a mapping document which contains all the requirement provided by the customer and corresponding the test case IDs. So the main purpose of requirement traceability matrix is to see all the test cases are covered so that no functionality should miss while doing software testing. So in interview people will ask you so how you will make sure your test cases are covered all the requirements. So this is an answer for that. We will have a requirement traceability matrix RTM which contains the test case requirement ID corresponding test case ID. So this will give us a clear picture whether we created all the test cases for that particular requirement or not. Right. So this requirement traceability matrix contains uh, mainly two items like a requirement ID like the business ID and technical ID and then corresponding test ID, test case ID. Now there are three types of traceability test matrix. One is forward traceability matrix and backward or reverse traceability matrix and bidirectional traceability matrix. So in forward traceability matrix is used to check whether the project progresses in the desired direction and for the right product. So it, provides, it makes sure that each requirement is applied to the product and that each requirement is tested thoroughly. It maps requirement to test cases. Basically, uh, all three types are used for mapping requirements to test cases. But what is small difference between these two are the forward traceability, we have a requirement ID here. Let's say I have a requirement ID and we'll keep on adding your test cases ID. So that makes sure we are adding the test cases corresponding requirement ID. That means Whatever requirement ID we have, we will refer that and we will check whether the corresponding test cases are there or not and we will add them here. This is called forward traceability. And backward or reverse traceability means it is used to ensure whether the current product remains on the right track. The purpose behind this type of traceability is to verify that we are not expanding the scope of the test or other work that is not specified in the requirement. So here, First of all, uh, in the forward traceability, we have a test case IDs. Let's say test case IDs and we will map them into requirement ID. Okay. And in the backward reverse, uh, backward or reverse traceability, we have a requirement ID and then we will map this requirement to the test case ID like this. So this is called as a backward or reverse compatibility. One say test case to requirement ID, the other one is requirement to test case ID. And bidirectional traceability means it's a combination of both. Okay, so this traceability matrix ensures that all the requirements covered by test cases. And this is a small template we have a requirement traceability matrix, so which contains the test case like business requirement ID, let's say B1, and here test technical requirement ID and test case steps, test data, and so on. And this is actually RTM, Requirement Traceability Matrix, which contains the business requirement ID, corresponding technical requirement, and corresponding test case ID. So this is exact mapping we have. So if I see, if we have business requirement here, if I add the test cases like this, it's called forward traceability. Now we have a test case ID, so if we have the, if we map with the requirement, that's called as a backward traceability. And then we we'll see what are the advantages of requirement traceability matrix. It confirms 100% test coverage. We'll say whatever requirements we have, do we cover test cases for all the requirements or not? That will be clearly have an idea by using this requirement traceability matrix. So 100% test, test coverage will be confirmed. And it highlights any requirements missing or document inconsistencies. Sometimes if we may some miss some test cases or when I see the requirement traceability matrix, it will give you a picture what are all things we have missed in these cases. So that's the main advantage of traceability matrix, requirement traceability matrix. So how we will maintain the mapping between test cases and requirements? By using requirement traceability matrix. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching this. Please subscribe my channel to get more updates on this.